So why prose? Um, I was I was walking around with that question ever since I was assigned to this panel, and um, I had lots and lots of thoughts, and finally I've settled on these. <laughs> the short answer for me relates to destination, prose, and this is why I'm not a fiction writer. Has to do with destination. Destination is another way of saying argument. In prose, I am climbing steps to a landing, a door, a view, an outcome. There are points that need connecting. I'm accumulating toward a statement. I have intention. I mean, I want you to understand. There is a pressure that feels linear and there are limits often literally word counts and page numbers. This is not to say that good prose does not remain open in crucial ways. And by open, I wish to use Linogenian's definition. In, um, I don't know if you've, if you've read The Rejection of Closure. If you haven't, I really recommend that essay. It's one of the finest. Um, so in there, she defines openness, uh, in the open text. In the open text, all the elements of the work are maximally excited. Here it is because ideas and things exceed without deserting, without deserting argument. Often the form of the poem is generated or evolves. For me, I should say. For me, the form of the poem is generated or evolves as the content unfolds. I mean, this is, this is sort of mountain school rhetoric, right? But it actually, for me, that's how it works. I don't go in thinking formally, I'm going to do X or Y. I'm just working. And then eventually, there, there are ways in which the, the piece seems to determine its own form. For me, it's often a derive, an unplanned journey through a landscape, psychogeography. The poem itself creates its environment, and the accumulation toward that environment of feeling is all that needs to happen. The limits here are built in to the environment, but you don't impose your encounter, you encounter them. So they come, they come up because there are limits in things and in words and in constructions, but I don't put them there. I see them, I discover them. Um, but to return to the architecture of prose in my world, it's a structure that holds a more determined form in my imagination. It unites and allows me to make transparent what I believe I am coming to know, while the poetry is a whole nother matter. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna leave it until questions. Well, I was, as you were speaking, I was thinking of Mark Nowak's Shut Up, Shut Down, a really brilliant book if you haven't read it. Um, and in that, he, util he utilizes the high bun. Yeah, he utilizes the high bun. And you know, he's looking at, um, Deindustrialization, the loss of jobs, white male masculinity, um, white male violence against the other, all these things are being investigated. And then you have these um, haikus coming up. And they come up in the text as places I feel that hold the incoherency of the reality. So within the reality, there, is, there are these moments, you know, why did these, these, these men beat, beat up and kill um, a Chinese man that they thought was Japanese because they lost their jobs, because the, the car industry was outsourced, right? And then you get these lyric moments that are supposed to hold the incoherency, the, the inability for the body, that white male frustrated body. 
And so that, then it comes in. So you have the informational aspects of the prose, but then you get these moments that are supposed to hold the unknowable, the, 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 you know, the, which is in a way affect theory, the feeling of it. Do you, do you, um, think, do you think that in, when, in Citizen, were, do you think that writing it prose makes it more accessible as opposed to writing it in lines? Yes, yes. I, I, well, I think using the sentence, um, you create, uh, uh, or you, you're using a form that we use all the time. We get it in the newspaper, we get it. So, so one, when one encounters it, there's no repositioning of the way one reads. I think when you read poetry, you have to, to rethink. That's why people think it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Because they don't get if if you turned if you open the paper or you turned on the computer and everything was lineated, and then suddenly somebody handed you something written in prose, you'd be like, "What's this?" You know. So, so yes, uh, I think in terms of expectation, it it is more accessible. <laughs> 